Alright. At some point, I'm going to end up moving this extra mic. But regardless, if you guys missed the beginning, beginning, like when I first started, uh, I think I'm low-key still in the tutorial. Um, but the first open of this game, bro, the A-OK -okay for me. A-OK. -okay. This gun is nice. <laughs> this thing is nice. I still didn't move the camera. I could do it. Mm. I'm going to get the green screen. I can move it. I just hit the button, and I'm not going to lie. Y'all will be seeing me messing around. I'll, next, next stream, like tomorrow's stream, I'll be fixing it. Right now, I'll be looking up here as the thing whistles. <laughs> Little one zero flute. This thing is nice. I, man, I, I'm loving it. I'm just loving the experience. Go back to the main. Sir Nappa. Everybody playing Legends Arceus. They know what's up. Um, I think I'm supposed to help Akari with her mission with mine. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Obsidian Fieldlands. Let's go. And I think, uh, what was that Pokemon? That Pokemon was like level 40. So I still won't be strong enough to take it on next time. But, I'm going on a mission. <laughs> Why that man pop up by behind me? What the heck? Did I surprise you? Loki? Yes. I was trying to anyway. Who is this man? There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. Sneaking up and get a back strike. Hey, I was right. Hitting the Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you the advantage once the battle starts. So I thought that only affected like catching them, but apparently it works the same with battles too. So that's cool. You're part of the server course now, working to create that Pokedex is all as they all are. You might end up meeting every last Pokemon in this week. Let's go. He's gonna be the final boss, guaranteed. <laughs> Final boss energy. Why don't you attack me now? Try to get weirder in the rest of them. Hey, level up. I wonder if I can use that thing in battle. Bruh. Why is he still attacking me? Get them! <laughs> I thought he was gonna stop at a certain distance. He said he doesn't care. Wait, can I use the different styles now? Um, not that I know of. They said I could use different styles, but I have no idea how to. And we're literally just fighting on the bridge as I burn this man. Yeah, you look around. I'm gonna roll out on you. <laughs> Imagine about to sit that man fly into the bridge water. And I don't know how to read it exactly. This is my first time getting hit it ever. But you're like heal over time. I don't know what your max HP is or not. Stuff is crazy. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're first. Oh, you're you're not <laughs> you're getting at least. Man was blocking my paths. It's a Kari and Mai. Over here. I like her style. Her does look kind of nice. This is Wolf Eye. <laughs> How I butcher my own name, bro. Wolf A, my, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. Yeah, it's like this Stantler tight tone and everything. What's going on? I wonder the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me my. She extra proud of herself. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is, do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Of course. That's what I do. I might have got hurt, but you know. <laughs> That's good to hear. The security course with yours certainly wasn't up to the task. Dang. <laughs> this here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice. I'm not sure I understand. What? 
Nobody wants you here. <laughs> you better than my side without choice, without needing any silly balls like you use. Watch and learn. I mean, I think you just don't use Pokeballs. Are we battling straight up? Go send the quill. Okay, let me see something. Is that what? What? I wasn't trying to run. He got too close. Fire! Oh, he took no damage. But we burned him though. Ooh, that's not good. We burned him though. How do you action order? If I attack like this and then he'll get an attack. How do you switch styles? Two hours later. Maybe I can match or something? I have no idea. I'm going to... I don't care for anything. I'm gonna just Ember again. Strong style. Oh, I'm dead. God! <laughs> How did she do that? Like, there was no way I was surviving. That's upsetting. Alright, let me see. Bro, my Pokemon is so low level. Everybody's gonna die. <laughs> um, Shinx, it's, it's your time is now. We're gonna flinch in the death. Either I haven't unlocked it yet, or something else happened. We're gonna bite you to death. Look at you. Stuck. Well, we won the battle, but Cinderpool got body. That's upsetting. Hmm. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you can defeat my partner. Hey, that man hit hard. We're all five months, Lex. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battle for us. Appreciate you. That's nice. I'll, let, I'll also let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? You should prove to be useful materials. Ooh, five different chokes. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of the old, the one who tells, the one we tell stories to our children. How old are you? <laughs> I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Track Heights. It's a large, fearsome foe, like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? Sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My phone. Nobody knows what this is. That thing you have, it's showing you where you've got to go, isn't it? Some kind of way. My mind, that is some curious sort of map. Sure. <laughs> is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? Sure. I have no idea. It certainly does seem to show the way to deal track heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there. I know it. Don said, I'm not getting into this, all right? It seems you're quite the asset to the subject court's new one. Yep, yep, yep. Though, before you continue, I must ask, do you already know about the Almighty Sinnoh? The yeah, Almighty what? <laughs> I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh still is all time. It's said to have created the very universe using his power over time's flow and this land of history was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that, pe that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We at the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the history region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only really been seen by any human. Has only really been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of the wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those on a few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with the Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me and you may understand. So it's like, the way they talk about 
for one, the Almighty Sinnoh is like, obviously it's like Dialga as far as the Diamond Clan must believe in Dialga, Dialga to like, as, as she just stated, like the flow of time and things like that. And then there's going to be like the Pearl Clan, I assume, for Palkia, which um, it's going to be kind of interesting. We got a long way to go, Loki. What am I hearing? Oh, pfft. I was like, bro, what? I'm like, I'm hearing something. And somehow that happened. We got a drift room, let's go. We got another one, let's go. <laughs> um. Too bad you don't see me, right? Hmm. I assume it's gonna be harder to catch the Pokemon that are flying, but you know. Don't, don't you move. Don't you. Don't you. No. Oh. Uh, no. I panic. I panic. I got it. <laughs> oh, that was so bad, bro. We got a Zubat. Let's try this. Uno mas. Oh, that was a fail. Somehow. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna roll up here. Not gonna be seen, I think. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Bro, what the heck? That was actually low key scary. Guess this. He teleported! Wait, bro, where is it? Yo, this is actually kind of scary. <laughs> That's crazy. Can I attack? Oh, no. Hey, she's with a nice dodge, though. Lock up. Just keep biting it. Because they have to use a little decent amount anyway. Let's go! Alright. Oh, this tree is shaking. I don't know what this is all about. Um. Oh, a Burmy. Uh. I don't want to use Breezel. But we're gonna switch. Switch. No, 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 no. Um, down. We're gonna switch to Starly. My first time switching. It's a Starly. I wanna make sure I don't kill this Ruse Gust. Take this. I killed it. <laughs> I killed it. God darn it. Oh, it's a Zubat. Um. What is this? Oh, what the? I forgot you can get attacked by multiple Pokemon. You don't see me. Okay. I keep forgetting, like, if they see you, see you, then, like, you know, can't stop that. Alright, Zubat. You want to battle? Let's go. Get here with this. Yeah, big boy damage. Alright. What's that yellow Pokemon down there? What is that? Oh, it's a Breezer. You ain't see nothing. Speaking of which, uh, mm, I think Chinx will be fine. As long as I attack first, I think I'll be okay. I didn't attack first. Didn't attack first. <laughs> um, hmm. We're gonna run this time. I can switch and stuff. I wonder if is there gonna be like a time. Wait, wait, wait. Wrong button. Wrong button. Okay. <laughs> like, I keep trying to figure out how to open up the menu. Alright. Now try me. I think it's funny, like, you can actually run away and, um, still switch up like that. That's cool. 
So we're gonna bite him first. And then thunder shot. It's cool, this little turn based thing like this. I don't know how many times I can battle like this, but you know. Alright, after this, it's not getting too excited. Just what is this thing? It's my last kiss. Oh, okay, so neat. Right, I don't know what that part was. Oh, what's this music? Well, I like this. Yo, this is dope. I, I'm just loving so much of this frail. Um, oh, that yeah, would. All right, let me go ahead. They said I can evolve. He has a little Pokeball symbol, so you just literally do it like this. Starly evolution, go. Oh, ho, 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 this looks nice. Oh yes. Ooh. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> Pity. <laughs> it's like from my Nuzlocke. Oh, that gym was beautiful. I, I'm never getting. I'm never gonna get tired of that. <laughs> it's my first time seeing it, but bro, that was nice. We should have more of those. Hey, my sorry, I got distracted. You know, Pokemon, terrible things, right? <laughs> oh, so even your professor decided to join us. What do you mean? <laughs> this wacky man, where you come from? Thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on the chance of observing an alpha. Now, could I? I mean, this is old, ancient camera ready. <laughs> I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out the way. So, what are we looking for? Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by the almighty Sinnoh. It's a cricket tune. <laughs> That's not it. That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with his racket. <laughs> and that's what you're here for, Wolf Aid, to drive that into Looper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for battle. Oh, oh, at least you me. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little one or alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all as old size as this one. Exactly. They're not only big though. They are strong and may no moves that others of their kind do not. They're taught to be trifled with, let me tell you, nevertheless. Or they're not to be trifled with. I believe you are stronger still than this alpha, so go show it beyond any mistaken. Alright, we'll see. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have strong moves at their disposal. How do you do this? <laughs> I lower alpha Pokemon are allows you stronger than normal. I got this. Can I just bonk? Okay, no. <laughs> I want to see, man. <laughs> Alpha Pokemon, go! Hiya! Send the crew! We hear it blazing! Action speed. Press Y button doing about to check the action order of all Pokemon. Cool. X speed is based on the speed stat. Ooh. Yeah, I have seen certain moves change it, like quick attack and stuff like that. Round one. It's only level 12, so I shouldn't fight. Holy crap! <laughs> oh ho, 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 no, baby. Mmm. Alright, so by my action speed, I'm gonna do a quick attack. Ooh, I did no damage. 
Um, we're gonna go to Shades, I think. Bro, this is dangerous. <laughs> we're gonna go to Shades. Try to paralyze it or something? I don't know. This thing is strong. Holy crap. Ain't bug tags with the fire moves? It's supposed to be, but this thing is strong. You remember that turtle that I fought in Final Fantasy? This is that turtle. <laughs> it's, it's basically what I'm seeing. Um, I, I'm pretty sure electricity is not good against it, but I'm trying to paralyze it. I'm trying to go. Paralyze. Let's go. Get paralyzed. It is beating the crap out of me right now. Um. Alright. It's time to go to Star Abia. <laughs> no, for real. Big bird. Let's go. Oh, yeah. It's paralyzed. Big damage. Let's go. Let's go. I forgot to catch it. No, I forgot. <laughs> I got too excited. I can always restart. I think I'm going to restart. Get in the ball, fam. I am so scared. Round two. Please. <laughs> he hurts. It hurts. I think I gotta take a chance. Beautiful. You gotta hit it. You gotta hit this. There you go. Paralyze. Paralyze. No sacrifice. No sacrifice won't go in vain, I think. Alright, Boozer. I just need you here to stand here intimidating. And get this man knocked into the ball. It comes down to this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Holy crap, bro. He hits too hard. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. At all. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Nah, that's the alpha Pokemon. That man hits hard, okay? He hit like an angry all axe or something. I don't know. Seeing someone best in Alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the Legendary Hero of the Old. It's sure. We well, best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing that against such a foe. Yeah, I appreciate that. Cause, yeah, it hurt. Wire! Is that a weirder? <laughs> what in the world? Look at this old Billy Goat. It's the great wide ear. He's like he's standing on top of the hills like the um like Raikou, Suicune, and Entei normally would. I just find it funny how they made Stanley important. That's so crazy. Looks upon you with kindness, Wolfe. He's like, you did that? Follow me. I say that Great Wide Air has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is a steam Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy of these. He is a blessing to us all. Okay. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why well, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. How did you know about Alola? Isn't this the past? Professor Lavington. Wolfe. I thought she left. <laughs> Captain Salane sent me. Oh, okay. She said that once Warfare carried out his request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Oh, so we expanding our um, reach or something? About that, I know this was a joint decision by Adamant and Commander, but still, is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Eastery region is a land created by Almighty Sido for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should be also be allowed to use this land. The Great Rider has taken a liking to warfare as well. This is a good sign. Yay, we got new comrades. Let's go. You have more. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. 
I've come to show my appreciation with a proper roar as soon as I can. Let's go! <laughs> if we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. Anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction force arrives. So I'll be able to like fast travel to the spot. I think that's what that is. <clears throat> base camps. Here we have it. Our new base camp upon Dittrack Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. Alright, very original. <laughs> For now, um, when you set off in the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. So yeah, fast traveling. Having another base camp to start from will be a great help for our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. <laughs> we'll say we all head back to Wallflower. Have some good eats. Look at all the first star members. Oh, is this all the Pokemon I caught? Okay, bet. Ten more Pokemon in one report. So I need to be catching Pokemon, like catching, catching them. But we got the money. <laughs> okay, so I like finish these pages, I guess. You gotta get stronger, man. I don't know what strength is all of that. <laughs> the way some of these Pokemon be hitting, I don't even know. Dang. So close to a second star. So close. They just don't want me to have it. I'm upset. <clears throat> Benny Otome. The Ezra Potato Mochi, please. And make it a three today as well. Yeah, see, now he understands. You like that Wolf Egg Kid? He not so bad. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzy cleaver from the rumors that ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went to, to investigate this morning. Dang. The medical corpse has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Dang. This cleaver has been poorly struck by a wonderful or powerful lightning. Oh, is that what happened in the very beginning? I guess that makes sense. I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the several courts will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching our familiar Pokemon. I just slurred all my words. <laughs> Wolf right here can handle things just fine. I, I love how they just throw everything like, hey, kid from the sky, you got this. You got it. <laughs> Are you certain? I've heard Cleaver is so mighty, even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Akari is like, bruh, we ain't playing these games. Now, now, you forget that strengths of Pokemon are key to items or information that we at the survey course of our duty bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting. Okay. Okay, where's the commander in all of this? Like, how is he the commander and nobody else is able to, like, catch Pokemon and deal with the alphas? What, what, is, what is his role? I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine deal. This is crazy. <sighs> the next day. Good morning, Wolfie. She's so excited. Okay. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. AKA, get up before you get bodied. I think they'll be fine for now. I wonder how you like increase your storage. Probably gotta like buy a, a boost or something like that. I don't know. Like a bigger bag, a bigger satchel. <clears throat> there you are. Let's hurry to the headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Who is that? Finally realize you're wasting the almighty sinner's precious time by bowing to a sham. Oh, these two. 
Uh, they like the two leaders of the opposing teams or something. There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the fun of all creation and ruler of space. So she's the Pearl Clan and he's the Diamond Clan. Gotcha. Ha, huh, you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Ooh, they fighting, fighting. Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make a better use of your time than we make of the vast each of these space? Better than some. Ooh, my man is not playing. It's a miracle you showed up on time, almighty oh, leader of the Pearl Clan. <laughs> I worry you get lost in a pointlessly bad space you're so fond of and never show up. <laughs> we, me, get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan and our world's very basis. You wish. <laughs> As they're arguing, Worthless is in the background, like, yep. Yep. <laughs> I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm out to Commander Commodore's office. I believe it was you who started this. So, like, are they under Commodore? Are they working, like, as three different figureheads of this space? Really confusing all of this, to be honest. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is Arita, or Irita, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who was going on and on about time, Adamant, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. Wait, it was less peaceful? Dang. But the boss, I mean, commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. See, I see. <clears throat> What's up? <laughs> uh, what do you intend to do about that cleaver, Commander Commodore? He may be descended from—he may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adamant. Time wasted is lost. <laughs> my man, really about this time. Well, tell me, what would you have do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan. Is he not? Huh. That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan is concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. So it was a war back in the past? But even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seeing someone got to do something here. Why doesn't she do something about it? Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of his own? Honor Nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. <laughs> you might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I like to know that myself. This is the first as far as my clan knows, too. I see you've arrived. I feel like they should do something about it. The Pearl Clan? I mean, I don't know. This is Wolf Aid, the newest member of our survey corps. Aha, I hear from my you've earned what is uh, favor. The man's respect, yeah. Bit to finally meet you, stranger from the roof. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. This is the most formal this man's ever been. But that's a mouthful, just call me out of it. If you came from beyond the space tip rhyme, what did I say? <laughs> beyond the space time real. Could you be from the space where Almighty Sinos is said to reside? Maybe. I did talk to him. I'm my reader, leader of the Pearl Clan, caution and foresight on my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that roof? That's what Lavender said, man. I, I just appeared. I just woke up like this. <laughs> Quite literally. I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? Why'd they keep throwing me out there? You send this stranger who supposedly fell from the roof to study Cleaver? This newcomer with no experience? When you say study, you mean like catch him and put him down, right? 
Since little with almost no experience. And my man is savage. <laughs> Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing peace to his vastness without fear. Or well, then there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give this kid a chance. I'm so commander, let's try this our way. Or your way. It should be fun. I'll get to see how good Galaxy Folk really are with all your weird ways. Putting Pokemon in those strange balls and whatnot, and what have you. I tried to assume what he said. That whole practice bothers me. Put them in the Pokeballs? Almighty Sinnoh made he sweet fast so Pokemon could live freely. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon and not count our size above them. I really wonder, like, I miss. But I wonder, like, this low key speaks on, um, I forgot it was Team Galactic or Team Plasma. One of those teams was um, trying to free Pokemon from humans' control, so to speak. So I wonder if, like, Loki, this kind of derives the origin of what the other teams end up doing or end up trying to do, even though they're doing it in a very twisted and crazy way. You know what I'm saying? Like, Pokemon, I see y'all. Y'all planting the seeds, man. <laughs> We do not use Pokemon from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Wolfay. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth in this situation. I'ma study him, alright. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out the sky, very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to fully be accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. She's just gonna keep putting me on my toes, I see. Oh, that's settled. And nothing else time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleaver, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with the Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to its strength. Be warned. I, I'm pretty sure these. These, um. What they call them? Alpha Pokemon? It one shot me in almost every hit. That's kind of a problem. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the history region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans, understand? So you're telling me to beat them or not? And then she just appeared out of nowhere. Join me downstairs, Wolfie. We'll cover the details of this mission. Hey, Akari. I like her. Silene, uh, it's like on and off. Oh, uh, good, you're already here. Y'all yeah, just keep appearing out of nowhere. Professor Labberton, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Wolfie, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzy state. You got struck by lightning, I saw it. <laughs> But as you're aware by now, Cleaver is an almighty thing. Not invincible even. So why am I going? <laughs> the security force tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they arrive. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? I mean, y'all not giving me much of a choice, but I, I'll go ahead. <laughs> Very well. Then let's go over the par particulars. Their speech throws me off sometimes. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe their these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Sea. Okay, so they give up offerings to these Pokemon. So perhaps a good starting point of our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. Wolfe, we need to speak to you. People just keep popping up, bro. Y'all, I know y'all can give me just panic attacks by doing stuff like this. Listen, that riff in space-time seems like it connects this world to a world of our other world. How do y'all know this? 
That world might be where Almighty Sino itself resides. The true Almighty Sino that is. The one that rules over time. <laughs> My man's like, bro, Dog is the only one. So if you fell through the space time rift, that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sino's own power. Think of it. You must have been swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you, oh amazing traveler. Um, sure. Don't just study Cleaver, quell his frenzy. Well, you suddenly caught us at a good time, young Adaman. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. Of oh, course, you must be that Galaxy Team scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy Team to call people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. The Pokemon did to us, off in the mountains, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. The heck? Wait, which one was that? Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share a Hisui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. So he's actually level headed? <clears throat> but there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. I'm better than the captain and the commander? <laughs> what the heck? You'll, co you'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the hardwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit... Well, sometimes brilliant can be blinding. He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up for the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Dang, y'all want to talk about pressure? <laughs> he certainly left quickly once he finished talking. I suppose he really valued his time. Adam and Amai weren't drunk, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, you'd best start by visiting his abode. I knew Heights Camp would be a handy place for setting out toward Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the pastures too. You want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. Gotcha, gotcha. Look at the whole team over here getting together and making moves. Begging. Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across? Satchel always seeming full? Yes. Yeah, actually, yes. If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. Like, we can be best friends right now. My boy! You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you like. What do you say? Please. I like your initiative. A teaching fee is a hundred dollars. Take it. Hey. Oh wait, I only got his boost by one. Oh, that's upsetting. That's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit in packing things, rightly. If you want to be able to carry even more things, I'll teach you. <laughs> I'll stop right here. Because uh, I really don't know how how often I'll get money. So I'll stop right here. Alright, dude. Bye-bye. He'll just stay right there all the time. 